morning my pursuit of water has brought me to this little stream just there I'm hoping that that is a good sign it means the Escalante River will be not too um too flowing today that is going to be a bull lake if it's not because I'm going to have to hike all the way down and then come all the way back and go right there my lips getting cracked Stomach's not good today. Haven't showered for 23 days. Stick. Arabina just gone on my bag, uh, my shoes, and got big holes coming into them. My glasses got scratched yesterday. My lips going. Got sores on my hip. I got scabs on my legs. Um, just things are falling to pieces just in terms of wear and tear. Um, still all works, so let's just crack on. Crack on down the river. I've heard a herd of cows who thinks I'm herding them, and they think I'm herding them down the valley, which is really annoying, because there's like 25 of them. And I'm sure whoever the farmer is does not want his cows driven down Middle Moody um, but there's nothing really I can do about it because they're stupid. Like for me, it's great because they're showing me the easiest route to get down the um, the creek. But like we get to these big expanses and they just dead on go down the thing. I'm gonna get shot by a cowboy at some point. My herd of cows over there. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm gonna prep my bag. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna give it a stab for a little bit, see what it's like. So, uh, time to get into swimming trunks, pack everything up, make it as watertight as possible, and then just see how easy it is. It's 25 miles, so that's 40k. A long way to spend in water. Um, can give it a go. I get my shoes wet. I try this barefoot and see what the Escalante is like. Bloody freezing. might be doable. Managed to navigate the first couple of bends at a kilometre, 39 to go. Um, if there's enough vegetation on the side, I think this will be doable. I do seem to be following a cow and a rather large footprint of something that looks like a cat. It's a bit worrying. So this is the Escalante River. Um, whoa, going down here. Already resorted to just walking down the middle of it until it gets too deep, and then I chip out a lot better than the vegetation. Um, vegetation can be horrific. Um, lots of stuff sticking to me. No, uh, this is fun so far. Reminds me of my first, I would say, my first ever adventure, which was with my little brother, a chap called Tom Spence, and we walked from our house to his house following the river. We found some dirty magazines that day. Wrapped in a bag. Inter introduced to well, two new worlds that day. Adventure and nudity. Whoa. Okay. Uh, good situation. Uh, so basically this is what I have ahead of me. Um, and uh, I need to cross this river. Jump down there. It's going to be deep. And then get across there, and I probably had to come across back of there. And then this is up onto the other side. And that's what, to see if I come up precise, that's why I've got to scramble up now to get to the other side. The Escalante is kicking my ass. Um, this is true, true uh, perseverance stuff. Bushes whacking you in the face, um, getting soaked in the river, uh, climbing in and out, trying to work out which side of the river you're meant to be on. It's, it's hard work. It's beautiful. I'll give them that. It is beautiful. But 
I've done 17, nearly 18k of it and I hope I get to the end of it tomorrow because that'll be enough for me. Wow, so beautiful. Um, the river's down there. This is the highest point I can find that's flat. The portion, I can't speak my mind, is um, So I'm just gonna set up my tent here and I literally am gonna collapse tonight. I'm so, I think I got some like cut on my face. Um, I did my shin in, been smacked in the eyes, um, fallen over on my back, uh, like a turtle, backpack couldn't get up again. Um, yeah, it's been kind of handy to do it. Yeah, I rolled my ankle today, that wasn't clever. Oh, same one as Akon Kagua, so. Oh, I'm just gonna get through that. It really is. Oh my god, it really is beautiful. Um, it's, it's, it's hard today. It's been hard for the last seven, eight days. I'm ready for another day of onslaught. That's the alarm. I've slept through the first two. <laughs> These are my socks from yesterday. <laughs> but, um, they were wet yesterday and covered in sand. Now, they are just like, they have a whole beach inside them. Today, I don't even know what day it is. I think it's 24 now. And I just stink. I'm tired. <laughs> if I have to eat porridge, tuna, noodles again, uh, 14 miles of battering through undergrowth and through rivers. Let's just hope the river's not any higher today. It's just gnarly. And. I've just got to get on with it today, head down, uh, focus. One of the biggest reasons why, why to do this kind of stuff is very few people will ever get to see this because the determination, the pain, the suffering, the agony, the self-doubt, the everything you have to put in to get here It means not many people do it. Just another river crossing. to the treachery of the river and the, and the gnarly background. <laughs> but these to contend with. That's uh, my hand, that's that. No idea what they are. I think I'd rather not know what they are. Bobcat, maybe? I really don't want to say a mountain lion. Possibly go wrong here. Just uh, under an unbalanced piece of rock. But if it fell, no one would ever find me. A bit of a, a gamble. The river runs all the way around here, but comes back all the way over here. So I've climbed up here, and now I'm gonna see if I can clamber down the other side. Just chopped off a big chunk of clambering, um, but I'm not sure. I'm sure there'll be a lot more to come. There's no part of me that's sad that this bit's coming to an end, but I can't deny it is beautiful and everything is of epic proportion. A lot of standing in water, a lot of trying to choose the right way. So I've got four more turns to go at least. Yeah. Ooh, it's been a long day. Giving up yet? This it's going to test us to the end. Chucking some wind in there. That's Stephen's natural arch, apparently. Um, is <laughs> that is just this is the Escalante part of the Heiju Trail ticked off. 
come into Coyote Gulch, um, or Coyote Canyon, I can't remember. That was a, a very demanding bit of hiking, something that uh, really tested me to my limit. Um, actually, if it's not going to test you like that, what's the point in doing it? So, a bit bashed, a bit bruised, but elated. And this is just stunning.